folks, thanks for tuning in, Michael Lind, and today we're just doing some double stops to give you guys an idea that we're interested in what I mean by that are two strings. Uh, ironically, you're not always stopping the two strings though, <laughs> you're actually stopping one, but you're playing two. So this one, in this case, would be stationary, and this one, we're hammering on or slurring. We have a C chord, third position, to a G chord. We move the same thing up to D, and then to A. That's all we're doing, but except we have the C, we slide up into an inversion of the C. Remember, we're still playing the C chord. Instead of it being here, it's actually here now. thirds in the bass. And then that slides right back down to the G chord, the fifth of the G chord. Now we come up here and do a C form G chord, which is based on a C chord, except you slide it up, D, E, F, G, in seventh position, except we're just doing double stops, fragments of the chord. So here we have this. That you've probably recognized that portion of the chord, or this, is based on the G chord. It's like a D form, except we're doing the fourth. Again, C. Come up. And I'm playing both of those. And then again. Slide back down. Bass note, top, with the G chord, third position, and then seventh position, again. Sounds kind of cool, huh? And then, now we're going to do the D chord, the same exact thing. Or bass note first and chord. Here. There's, the, there's your bass player. There's the chord. Now your bass player's here. The chord's still there. Okay? So. Slide back down. Now play the A chord. Bass note and chord if you want. And then come up to ninth position and do the same. Again, ninth position, A chord, C form. A chord, and seventh position, now D chord, same thing again. And okay, let us know what you guys think. Have fun with that and keep picking.